10 Most Dangerous Kids in the World. Kids can be cute, cuddly, arrogant, or overbearing. There's always going to be a kid who will test your sanity at times. While most kids can be quite confusing to deal with, there are some scary ones despite their pleasing looks. Here are the 10 most dangerous kids in the world. Friedman Brothers. Most kids have unusual beliefs. It's a bit weird, but they naturally outgrow them when they become adults. David and Brian Friedman, on the other hand, decided to be neo-Nazis. They shaved their heads, got tattoos across their foreheads, and even wore military uniforms to stand for what they believe in. A few months after terrorizing their own family, the brothers finally killed their mother from multiple stabs and suffocation, and beat their father and 11-year-old brother to death. They were both sentenced to life for the murder of their own family. Joshua Phillips. Joshua Phillips is not an ordinary kid. He's the one responsible for the death of an eight-year-old girl in November of 1998. Soon after his mom noticed something leaking under his bed, the cops were able to find the girl who was already missing for seven days. He claimed to have accidentally hit the girl in the eye with his baseball bat, then hit her again for 11 times to stop her from screaming. He is one of the kids in this list who was given an adult penalty for the crime. Brenda Ann Spencer. Monday, January 29, 1979, the 16-year-old Brenda Ann Spencer decided to shoot off students and teachers with a rifle from her bedroom window. The rifle she used was surprisingly a gift from her dad, leaving eight children and a police officer wounded and killing her school custodian and principal. After the shooting, she was asked on why she did it. In her delight, she said, I don't like Mondays. This livens up my day. She also mentioned that it was like shooting ducks in a pond, and it was really easy pickings. Graham Young Graham Young, at the age of 15, was considered as a serial killer. In fact, he's also known as a teacup poisoner back in the days. While most serial killers like blood and gore, Graham likes his kills to be clean. Before he was sent to a mental hospital, he first tried to poison his own family and his classmates at school, making them sick for a couple of days. He was never caught until he was proven guilty from killing his stepmom through poison tea. After seven years of slumber in a mental hospital, he was released, causing the death of two people from the 70 people he poisoned. Mary Bell A day before her 11th birthday, Mary Bell strangled a boy to death. Two months later, she, along with her friend, killed another boy by strangulation. She was considered as a total psychopath. Coming from an abusive family, it was probably a way for her to cope up with her struggles. After police investigations, it was found that she had carved letters and mutilated bodies before discarding them. She was released in 1980 under an anonymity order. Paul Gingrich Having a friend is nice, but it's not as great as having Paul Gingrich as one of your pals. Well, as a good friend, he decided to help Colt Lundy, his best friend, kill his stepfather. All of this happened when they were 12. Since Lundy was scared of running away from home, probably because of his abusive stepfather, Paul came up with a plan of killing the stepfather. They shot him in the chest four times, resulting in a 30-year prison sentence. Edmund Kemper Edmund Kemper was only 15 when he shot his grandparents to death. He was considered as a sociopath, but he's smart, fooling psychiatrists at that time that he was a paranoid psychotic. After a few years in the mental hospital, he was said to be no threat to society, resulting in the death of eight women. When he was tried for the acts, the same psychiatrist stood by their statements that Edmund was, by no means, a serial killer. Willie Boskett Willie Boskett led the change in New York state law regarding minors committing heinous crimes. In an attempt to steal money, the 15-year-old Willie shot Noel Perez on a subway. A few days later, he shot another man in a botched robbery attempt. He was tried and convicted for murder and then sentenced to five years in prison. Because of the length of Willie's sentence, it caused a public outcry, leading to a change in ruling for crimes committed by minors. Jesse Pomeroy Jesse Pomeroy, also known as the Boston Boy Fiend, was responsible for the murder and sexual torture of young boys and girls back in 1874. He once mutilated and killed a 10-year-old girl who went to his mother's store. After a month, he then kidnapped a 4-year-old girl and nearly decapitated her with a knife. He was convicted and sentenced to death, but it was later changed to 40 years of solitary confinement. Robert Thompson and John Venabla One day, Robert Thompson and John Venabla decided to steal some things at a shopping center. They got bored, so they kidnapped a 2-year-old kid, James Bolger. Like most kids who would rather destroy their own belongings than give them to others, Robert and John killed the little boy. 
After beating James to death, they left him on the railroad tracks hoping that people would see it as an accident. Unfortunately, images were taken from them from the mole CCTV leading to their imprisonment. Were you shocked with the kids we showed in the list? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.